Hi, here to update you on some very exciting news on the progress that's happening at BMG Park and the update on where we are with BMG World. A lot of exciting developments are happening currently and just to give you a little bit of background on to where we are and what's happening, let's start with the, the excitement of uh, all of our acquisition and the spending that we've done at this wonderful site in Johannesburg where we are bringing together all of our businesses into our program which is called Simplify for Success. We currently have acquired most of the buildings around us. We are still looking at a few others, but at this stage, great excitement. Uh, our existing BMG Park is around about the 37,000 square meters of land that we own. With the acquisitions that we currently have in place and in progress, we're going to double that to around about 78,000 square meters. This will enable us to not only bring together the entire BMG from all over the, the country as well as from locally. We have various about seven different uh, locations currently. These will be all moved in over the next year, year and a half into what we will now call BMG World. Um, part of this has been over the, the April month that we have actually relocated our drives division and our belting division into our new building where this is being shot at the moment um, in one of the boardrooms, one of many that we have here where we can have our customers come and visit us and look at our world-class facilities. Currently we are assembling our new gearboxes as well as repairing all types of gearboxes in this facility. We are customizing and making various different belt solutions for our customers and we have absolutely wonderful, wonderful facilities here that are state-of-the-art. The facility we are currently sitting in is to be known as the BMG Engineering Assembly Facility in the future. This will be used for assembly and testing mainly of our drives and belting products. With great excitement we have acquired the old Silverton, Silverton building that you see on the M2 motorway as you head, up, head on up to BMG World. This will be where our fluid technology businesses will be housed. We will be relocating BMG Hydraulics and AMSA all the way from the other side of Johannesburg into these facilities where we will have state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities where not only will we be assembling but we will be machining, designing, engineering, fabricating, painting and doing the entire package for you, our customer and for you, our branch network. Over the past 40 years, BMG has grown into an almost 5 billion rand revenue business. As a result of this growth through both organic and acquisition initiatives, uh, we've embarked on a process and an initiative called Simplify for Success. Not only is this intended to simplify our corporate structure, but also to expand and upgrade our facilities at BMG Park here in Johannesburg. This 350 million rand investment not only represents the single largest investment in the 40 year history of BMG, but also a massive vote of confidence from our shareholders. The fact that we've chosen to make this investment at a time when markets are probably at their toughest signals our intent to build a world-class business and to continue to define and differentiate the BMG value proposition from that of its competitors. The BMG Park upgrade project is broken into four phases. We've currently completed the first two, with the third phase being the erection of a world-class uh, 9,200 square meter, 22 meter high central distribution facility. All these initiatives and investments are intended not only to streamline our operations and drive operational efficiencies, but also to simplify our business, to eliminate duplicate handling, and to ensure that we remain competitive and more competitive, offering value to our, to our customers, suppliers, and to our branches alike. Our motto has always been, the longer you, our customer, is in business, the longer we are around and the longer we have a business. So therefore, this investment is not only about ensuring that we are able to maximize and drive our returns as a business, but to ensure that the value proposition and the value offering that we bring to you, our customers, is continually enhanced. Once completed, the expanded BMG Park will become known as BMG World, reflecting the fact that it will be the epicenter of our universe and of you, our customers, universe too. Part of the consolidation that we seek to drive is to bring all the best of breed product specialists, sales expertise, support services, corporate head office, 
all together in one facility under one roof, ensuring that we're able not only to maximize, but to leverage our capabilities, our knowledge base, and our expertise across all our operations, both internally within the organization, as well as to you, our customer. The background to BMG's uh, supply chain uh, upgrade project was really necessary given the company's growth over the, over the years. Uh, we acquired lots of businesses and the business had grown phenomenally uh, without us really reviewing and looking at our systems and, and processes. In that same time, uh, we took a decision to have a more centralized distribution model and that meant that we needed to bolster our CDC in Johannesburg. So that is really the, the, the start or the seed of the project. Um, we had many discussions at EXCO level on, on the necessity of the project, the cost thereof. And essentially, there was a need in terms of our current systems to invest in a world-class distribution center in Johannesburg. So the next decision we had to make was really whether we invested in the current facility or whether we would look to um, investing in a new Greenfields project. And I think there again, lots of time and, in, and investigations uh, relative to what would make more financial sense, as well as what would be less disruptive to the business. And after, again, many, many hours of deliberation with Exco, we took a decision to invest in the Drusty Park site. As a start of the development of BMG World, we needed to acquire properties adjacent to the current facility uh, and that meant acquiring what used to be called the Alborante auto spray facility. Uh, we then had to acquire what is now called, what is called Silverton radiators uh, property as well as uh, a 9,000 square meter piece of ground from the city of Joburg um, which would form the mainstay of the CDC development. The project is broken up into four aspects or four phases. The first phase being the development, renovation of the uh, Alborante auto spray to form the assembly facility of the engineering business. Uh, second phase would be the construction of a 9,000 square meter uh, world-class CDC building, central distribution center. Uh, the third phase will be the renovation of the Silverton radiator property and that will become the manufacturing facility for the engineering business. And the fourth phase is the renovation and the creation of a customer service center and a support facility uh, and that would in include an auditorium that would allow us to do training for, and, and meetings throughout the entire network. Uh, there is a, a massive canteen for the entire campus as well as training facilities uh, and meeting rooms for meeting customers as well as suppliers. So let's talk about the numbers. The project value approximately 350 million rand um, and we, how are we going to use that money? One, for property acquisition. Two, for actually developing the properties and renovating of properties. Uh, three, for supply chain and material handling equipment. As I said earlier, we're going to be state of the art. And the last aspect is supply chain systems, which refers to a best of breed warehouse management system, as well as software to enable us to optimize our inventory deployment. The final bit is obviously how we're going to fund this and how we're going to, to pay for these uh, investments. The first aspect or the first part of how we're going to pay back is savings in rentals and property costs. Um, we would pay less rentals to third parties and pay and in acquiring, in, in acquiring the properties we would pay ourselves these rentals. The second aspect is savings in 
an optimized inventory and a distribution model. So that essentially means using our money with inventory a lot smarter. And the third aspect is supply chain efficiencies within the warehouse. And that essentially means having a more efficient and what we're calling a best of breed world class distribution center. One of the founding statements in, in the inception of the project was that the facility and what we are creating needed to be world class. And we've always gone back to that phrase of world class in whatever we were creating in various decision trees about how to spend the, the, the limited funds that we had. And we always went back to the philosophy of being world class. So what we are creating here is not something where we are benchmarking against uh, our typical opposition in South Africa or a, a typical warehouse in South Africa. What we are trying to create here is truly world class that will stand us in good stead to develop the business going forward. So I guess the question in your mind as a customer or a, a guy in, employed in the field in the sales environment is how does this, uh, what we're doing in Johannesburg impact you? And the answer is simple and straightforward, is that we would be able to get product to you more efficiently, uh, more efficiently meaning that at a, at a lower cost of distribution. And secondly, we should be able to get product that you require in the field when you require it. So stock at the right place, at the right time, brought to you efficiently. The significant investment and enhancement of our facilities in Johannesburg not only will provide us with a platform to expand and grow our sales into Africa, but will also lay a foundation and a platform not for the next three to five years, but we believe for the next 15 to 20 years to ensure that the growth trajectory that BMG has achieved over the past 40 years is continued and accelerated well into the future.